Hello everybody, my name is Alec and welcome to my first Q&A video, aka question and answers video. This is a type of video where people ask questions and I answer them. I wanted to do this for 3,000 subscribers, but I just couldn't wait. So, you know, I, I said, you know what, 2.6 thousand, let's go. 2.6 thousand, we're doing this. Now, before I get in and do any questions and answering the first one, thank you. <laughs> thank you for 2.6k that is huge we are 400 subscribers away from 3000 and uh, once i hit 3000 you know what's gonna happen i can apply for criminality content creator <laughs> i'm not gonna do that because i don't play that game anymore but <laughs> but i could but but i could because for some reason the requirements are 3000 subscribers even though the game is dead but <laughs> yeah that's the requirement anyways enough talking about criminality who cares uh, questions Let's see, let's see the questions. Who, who's asking stuff? Who is it? Who's asking stuff? The first question of this video is... Will you make videos from Havoc when it comes out? Uh, ooh, um, Havoc, I, co <laughs> I completely forgot about that game. I completely forgot. I remember talking with my friend about Havoc a long time ago. About Havoc, and yeah, of course I'll make videos about Havoc. It, it's, it looks like a pretty good game. The old sneak peeks look pretty good, and I'm actually quite excited for Havoc. But of course, I don't think it will replace Blackout. I think it's gonna be more like criminality, you know, just run and gun. And not like uh, Blackout where there's actually side quests to do. But we'll see, you know, we'll see. I'm excited for Havoc. I completely forgot about the game though. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna make Havoc videos when it does come out. Do you like Krim or Blackout more? <laughs> I really like the replies. <laughs> Truly one of the questions of all time. This, this, this is a no-brainer. Oh, of course it's Blackout. <laughs> of course it's Blackout. Who inspired you to be a Roblox YouTuber? Well, um, nothing. Nothing. I, I, I just wanted to play Roblox because I play Roblox every single day. I wake up, I turn on the computer, and I play Roblox. If if I don't have my daily dose of Roblox, dude, I'm I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone. So nobody inspired me to be a Roblox YouTuber. It's just that I wanted to make videos on a game that I play. <laughs> Would you consider playing more Roblox unrelated games in the future? Yes, 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 I would love that. Uh, I'm already doing Terraria. I would love to do more. But the problem with the, this kind of content is people don't watch it. Of, of course, I can get lucky and I can attract a different audience. For instance, maybe I can attract a lot of Terraria people into my channel and keep doing Terraria videos, which I would absolutely love, by the way, because I really like Terraria and I would like to keep the thing going. But I would love to play more games other than Roblox. <laughs> but I can't. I gotta change to Roblox for now. Maybe one day things will change. Uh, maybe one day. Did you ever plan on doing collaborations with other, maybe smaller YouTubers? Yes, um, we have a question coming up from Watercape13, which if you didn't know, you probably did. He's a Blackout animator. And he has like, what, 2,000 subscribers, and I wanted to do a collaboration with him. Uh, the problem is, with collaborations, uh, it's kinda like the time zones and getting ready for recording. <laughs> Me, my time zone, and let's see Watercape's time zone. They are very, very different, <laughs> and it's very difficult to find a time when we can both record. But yeah, I've, I've, I've been thinking of quite a few collaborations, but uh, so far, nothing. Uh, maybe one day we'll have an actual collab. I mean, I did make a stream. No, I, I, did, I didn't make a stream, but others made the stream where we, we were all like seven Blackout YouTubers. We were all in a group call. And I was mostly muted because it was like 12 a.m. for me and I had to be quiet, couldn't be screaming. Probably basically muted the whole time, but uh, you could hear me at like the beginning of other stream like Watercape. If you watched his stream back then, you could hear me back there. <laughs> you could hear me talk and stuff. And Exponal was there as well, so we just like, a bunch of Blackout YouTubers. We were testing out the updates and stuff. And that was sort of a collaboration. N not really, but <laughs> we played together. What made you switch to Blackout? Um, is just the game better. <laughs> <laughs> the game is just better. Criminality is boring. I played it for two years and I have had enough! <laughs> enough! I can't take it anymore, man. It's just the same thing over and over and over again. I, I can't. Stop going insane. Water Cape, uh, what made you want to start making YouTube content? <laughs> oh, this is a good one. This is a very fun one. This directly 
goes into a different question, which uh, mo no, nobody asked this question, but pe well, well, nobody asked it right now, but they did ask it on some of my streams, and that is, um, why do I sound British? Right. If you watched a lot of my videos, you probably noticed that I have some kind of British accent, right? I, I, I say things differently, I write things like on my video where I uh, where the black cam wave defense thing uh, happened, you realize how I wrote the title? Yeah, def defense with a T, if I'm not mistaken. In American English, defense. Uh, in British English, defense. So, <laughs> there's that. Yeah, I'm, I'm like 20% British, and <laughs> here's the funny part, here's why. So, Watercape, um, the person that inspired me to do my YouTube content is uh, a YouTuber named 8 Ryan. I've been watching him for, for forever, honestly. Uh, how long? I gotta know, hold on. Let's see, um, the first video, seven years ago. <laughs> seven years ago, this guy made Hello Neighbor Alpha 1 content, and, um, I found him by Hello Neighbor, <laughs> so here's that. I used to watch loads of 8 Ryan, and I still do. I still watch him seven years later. I'm still here with him, man. And I just thought that if doing videos was awesome, okay? I, I saw 8 Ryan playing all of these games and doing all this stuff, and I thought, wow, <laughs> that's cool. I want to do that as well. And so I, I, I went for it. Even if uh, uh, you might... I, I'm not sure if that video is private, actually. Hold on. Is it private? I don't think it's private. Hold on. If we scroll down to my older videos. There we go. There's the video right here. Story of my YouTube thing. If we take a look at this, you can see... <laughs> yeah, there we go. Story of my YouTube thing. Three years ago, Alec made this. Yeah, watching 8-bit watching Ryan. This is the guy. And then I tried YouTube for myself, as you can see. <laughs> Said that guy is awesome, he inspired me to do content. And going back to the whole what may be British thing. Uh, well, you see, it's a funny thing. Um, when I started watching it with Ryan, I was young. Okay, I was young and I was learning English because if you didn't know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm Lithuanian, so I had to learn English as my second language. And as I was learning English from watching 8-Bit Ryan, I was also learning British. 8-Bit Ryan is from UK. He is British. So a kid learning English from a British YouTuber, uh, that means that he's gonna have a British accent. <laughs> So here you have it. That's why I'm British. <laughs> that's that's why I type in UK. That's why I say things differently. Like uh, one thing uh, what was the British one, the bottle of water, b b bottle of water, bottle of bottle, huh? Bottle of water, bottle of water. But no, no. You see, you see, uh, I bottle of water, bottle of water. But <laughs> you're supposed to say it, bottle of water. But but it's more comfortable for me to just say a bottle of water. <laughs> but I, but I'm 20% British, I'm telling you. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's from Ryan. I, I'm glad I'm British because of it, but Ryan, thanks, man. <laughs> Very cool. What are you planning to do with the channel in the future? Well, Forever Trust, aka Blackout Moderator, um, just progress. <laughs> Recording more videos, you know, doing bigger collabs, just doing more crazy stuff. Right now I'm doing simple commentary, later I want to do something more crazy, like more edited videos maybe yet in the future, who knows, you know, we'll get there, and we'll see what the future has in store for us, right? But for now, it's Alvec, it's commentary, and it's epic. Will you do streams more often? Hi. Hello jeans, and um, yes, yes, I will do streams more often, but the problem is, I would do them more often, but um, my internet is kind of an issue, for some reason, my internet doesn't really like when I stream stuff, <laughs> so it lags, so that is like a really big thing that's keeping me from streaming a lot, it's my internet, and also it's just that I don't really enjoy, like, I, I enjoy streaming, right? I enjoy interacting with fans and talking to them, and playing Blackout and watching my kids disappear one by one after I get RPG'd over and over again. But uh, it's just that, I don't know, sometimes I just really don't feel like streaming. Now, most of the times, I just rather make a video than stream. Like other YouTubers like Exploder, he streams a lot. <laughs> he would rather stream than doing videos, which, you know, his choice, 
but um, I'd rather do videos than stream. So streams are still coming, I'm not gonna stop streaming until, I don't know, something bad happens, which could be my router exploding or something. But I'm gonna keep on streaming, don't worry, streams are gonna happen. From what games you started and how did you find that blackout? Um, from what games I started? You mean like the first game I ever played? Or like... Okay, I'm gonna tell you how I found Blackout. Cause that's basically the only part of this <laughs> of this question that I understand. So obviously I found Blackout because of criminality, right? It's a no-brainer. But um, how did I find criminality? Well, it's a funny story of when I was in school. Uh, me and my friends, we were... We just found out about Madness Combat. It, it, was the, it was the hit back then. And it still kinda is, but not as much as it was back then. And back then, which was like two years ago. So me and my friends were really into Badass Combat. And my friend pulls up his phone and shows like some random YouTuber doing, doing a video about criminality. And he says, yo, this Roblox game looks pretty cool. It's like Madness Combat, because look, you have katanas and you can cut people's heads off. And we were like, wow, that's sick. And uh, that is how we find criminality. <laughs> Through a random guy making a video about criminality. And we thought it was cool because it looked, the gameplay looked like Madness Combat. <laughs> and we bought the game. We grinded it. I grinded it. I, I played it like every single day throughout quarantine. And then, um, then I got bored. Because 1.3 came out and everything got ruined. What do you think about Blackout right now? Um, I mean, at the current state of Blackout, it's not what I want. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. It's not what I want. But you gotta remember that it is early access and a lot of things are changing. For instance, there's always new balance changes. There's always new raids and stuff. And um, for now, I'd rate Blackout like a 5 out of 10, right? It's not bad, it's not good, it's in the middle, right? But what I really wish is that Silver, developers, anybody watching this, please make the TTK less and um, just make the gameplay less repeating. Just make it so I don't have to spawn in, buy a gun and go kill people. Don't make that the gameplay loop, please. I've played Criminality for two years and I've been spawning in, buying weapons and killing people for way too long. Please, have something else to do. And hey, we'll find out when the update's release. It's early access, I don't have anything much to say. The game is good though, I like it. That's why I make content on it. Do we live in a society? Not sure about you, but I definitely do live in a blackout society. One face reveal? Uh, now. So everybody, the 2.6k face reveal. Hey, what's up, man? Do you play other games besides Roblox? Of course I do. I'm gonna be honest, even though if I do play Roblox every single day, if I only play Roblox every single day, I'd go crazy. I play arts all sorts of games. Fun fact, my favorite non-Roblox game is Gary's Mod. I have like 1.2 thousand hours on that game. It's awesome. Can you speak Russian? Well, um, since I'm Lithuanian, I can. A tiny bit. I can read Russian, I, I know the letters, but uh, I do not understand what I read. <laughs> I know like three words, um, kot, uh, chai, and um, zdorova. Who is the best fan that you met in Black Air Revival? That's an impossible question to answer. <laughs> Like, all fans are fans, okay? If you're stream sniping, if you're giving me gifts, you're both the same. You're still my fan, right? But the, the fans that I do like aren't the ones that, you know, just keep killing me repeatedly. It's the ones that give me gifts, you know? Gifts are awesome, I love gifts. But I appreciate all of you, it doesn't matter if you kill me or if you give me gifts. I still like you equally because, hey, in the end of the day, you're just giving me more content. <laughs> But, um, the best fans are probably the early ones, you know? But I was still, like, barely known. There were, like, 2,000... Below 2,000 subscribers. And, you know, people come up with me and I'm like, Oh, I think I know you. You're that Elva guy, right? I know you. Hey, there's actually a funny clip. Hold on. I, I, I have a funny clip. Wait. You have this clip of me when I was still level 1. You can say I only have 75 XP. This was my, just when the game released. It was, like minutes after the game released. This is my first bit of gameplay and I, uh, I'm i running around here with this guy as you can see. Bomb is right here. He is the first person in Blackout that recognized me and the first fan in Blackout that I met. <laughs> I remember this guy. 
he was the first fan in Black Air Revival. So this guy, this guy is a chat. He's a W. Will you quit Black Air when Hammer comes out? But <laughs> quit Blackout? Overseer? <laughs> what are you talking about? The only reason why I would quit Blackout is if the developers did something really dumb. Other than that, I'm not quitting Blackout, no. I am going to be, may be making videos on Havoc though. Maybe it can be like another game in our circle of main games that I play. So it will be Criminality, Blackout and Havoc. And we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how Havoc turns out again. Do you regret buying early access to Blackout? No, 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 no way. As I said, Early access isn't good. It's in the middle, you know, it's not good, it's, b it's not bad. But I, I do want to be along the journey. Seeing a beloved game develop is really special. It, it was special of criminality. I loved seeing all of the new updates. And I loved seeing how the game changed. A except when 1.3 released. Oh. <laughs> so I do not regret buying early access to Blackout. I am very glad that I bought it, the game. I'm very glad that I started making content on it. The community is great. The moderators are awesome. I talk to them all the time. And it's just a good time all around. Is your real name Alric? If not, what made you choose this name as your channel? Yes, my real name is Alric. Um, and that's why I chose my channel name as Alric. Can you tell us your life story? Uh, I got given birth to, and then I survived long enough to make blackout content. How did you come up with your avatar? Well, I like simplistic things, right? I don't think there's a point to spending loads of Robux just to look rich. Now, you gotta stay true to yourself. You gotta reflect what you are inside. And I am a Roblox veteran, so this is why I'm reflective of my avatar. I like the good old times of Roblox, when Roblox cared about the community, not their stocks. When Egg Hunt was actually a good event. But I also added some, you know, modern day items like the Santa bag because I am very jolly and this headset because, well, I'm a YouTuber. Do you intend on becoming a fully fledged YouTuber? Do you see yourself stopping on making content in the future? Do you ever plan on doing IRL content? Okay, so, um, fully fledged YouTuber, that would be an absolute dream. That would be an absolute dream come true. That would actually be absolutely fantastic. I would love to have YouTube as my full-time job. Like, that would, that would be crazy. I'd be like a Ryan, man. I'd, I'd finally be like him. Do you see yourself stopping on making content in the future? Yes, actually. Yeah, I do. And uh, the reason to that is because, well, I'm finishing school very, very soon, by the way. And um, because I'm finishing school, I'll have to find a job. And because I'll have to find a job, I won't have as much free time for YouTube as I used to. So the only reason why I would ever quit YouTube and stop making content is because I just don't have enough free time. Because of, well, adulthood. But if YouTube does become a thing where I can easily make money off, then, dude, I'm never quitting. This is like my dream job come true. Do you ever plan on doing IRL content? And um, no, probably not. Not in a very long time at least. <laughs> Maybe a million subscribers special, I, <laughs> I don't know. What kind of games do you enjoy playing? Um, like the genre? The genre would be, I don't know, shooters, I guess? <laughs> I mean, I really enjoy Gmod, and it's a sandbox, so I don't know what to tell you. It's mixed, it's very mixed. But some of my favorite games are Gmod, RimWorld, and uh, Blackout. What was the bug you bought with YouTube money? The Roblox cheeseburger. How long does it take to edit a single video? Um, okay, this, this is gonna sound a bit crazy. Yeah, when I used to do content without voice, it took about two hours to edit a video. Uh, when I started doing commentary, it took like, I'd say, half an hour. Uh, and now it takes about 15 minutes to edit a single video. <laughs> Not a lot of time, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's like absolutely nothing. I mean, I do want in the future to start making more high quality videos, like adding more edits, you know, more funnies, haha. But for now, commentary is great. Commentary is commentary. And if you do commentary with too many edits, it's not commentary anymore. But yeah, I have been thinking about doing more edits and spending more time editing my videos. That will probably happen someday soon, maybe next year. <laughs> But yeah, about 20 to 15 minutes to edit a single video. It's because AI does everything for me. It's very great. I love AI. How many friends do you have? Uh, a lot. 
not counting my fans. Not to flex, but I, I have some great friends, okay? I have some great friends. Here I'll even message one of them. By the way, uh, Discord light mode. Yeah, I'm a freak like that. I love you. Hey, I'll let you know if he types anything back while I'm editing this video. I'm not sure when he'll respond. But yes, I have quite a few very great friends. So that was my first Q&A video. Um, I didn't expect this many questions, but this was great. This was fantastic. Hopefully you learned something new from me. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, you obviously did because these were all questions that people wanted answered because they didn't know the answer to these questions. But you know what? You know what I mean. It, it's fun. Thank you for the questions. Hopefully you enjoyed the answers, and I'll see you in the next video. And again, thank you for 2,600 subscribers. Goodbye.